Good morning guys and most welcome to another West In video. Today I have the honor to introduce you to my good friend Tom Hunt from Team West In UK. Thank you Jorgen. Welcome to Sweden. This is magical and probably in my mind at least one of the best perch fishing venues in the world. So I'm super excited to see what's going to happen. Today we're going to go out on the east coast of Sweden and fish for brack water perch in the archipelago yeah and that's something that's very strange to most Europeans they don't understand that we have a perch living in salt water in Sweden so <laughs> many times they they can hardly believe it when you tell them that we have a, a lot of perch and pike in good size on the east coast of Sweden and jellyfish as well I hear. yeah if you're lucky you can catch a jellyfish <laughs> uh, is that the target uh, no no a, a 50 is the target yeah. but um, what do you think we're going to do today? Like it's starting to get really cold now. Yeah, it's uh, winter. It's grey, cold, a little bit of wind. Uh, the water temperature is between two and a half and three degrees. Mm -hmm. It's not super cold, but it's getting cold. So I suppose it will be soft baits, slowly fished over the old weed beds. Yeah. They're starting to die now. There's been a late uh, autumn, so there's still a lot of weed more than normal okay. but they're starting to die and uh, fall down so we're gonna present the lures in shallow water and i think it will be different kinds of uh, soft lures we're gonna try and see what they like it's always the perch that sets the rules so yeah, you, you never know before yeah, yeah. but i would suppose uh, lures like uh, hyper tees uh, bull tees uh, maybe a little bit of Stanley the Stickleback can be good if we have areas with no weed. And we've got bull tees curl tail today as yeah, well. Yeah, bull tees curl tail. We know basically what lures and what colors they like here, so you just have to start trying and find out what's the color and what's the lure of the day. And it changes all the time. You can go out one day, have a lot of fish on one lure and one color, and the next day it's something completely different. Yeah, they always set the scene. So we just let, we're going to let them tell us what they uh, want. Yeah, we have to try and see what we can find out and what they like. And, but that's the fun part with perch fishing, I yeah, think. Yeah, uh, absolutely. It changes all the time. Well, enough, you, enough talking from us because I'm desperate to start. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yeah. Good luck. See if we can find them in this clear water. I put on a bull tease and just we, we need to see if it's perch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I got a fish, but it feels very pikey. Feels very pikey. Right side. Oh, it's a pike. Still, it's a start. It's big perch. Big perch. Take oh, the it net. is a perch. Oh, it's fighting hard. Whoa. I have the net there, Tom. Oh, really almost, good fight. Almost convinced that was a pike. Yeah, it was going sideways in a. Oh. That's a nice one. <laughs> What the a first. start! First what one. What a start. Beautiful fish. <laughs> now Took a uh, bull tease. Is an introduction to archipelago perch. Oh my gosh. Oh, the lure fell out in the net. That's a beautiful fish. Wow. Look at that, Tom. Wow. Check the colors. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Gorgeous. Guys, immaculate. Absolutely, it looks like it was born yesterday. <sighs> Not a scale that is wrong. On the bull tees? Yeah. Bull tees, uh, dirty harbour. I was convinced that was a pike. So was I. The way it came right yeah, around no, the boat. Yeah, it was more slowly. Right, for you guys at home, I've come from England. Now this is Swedish archipelago perch fishing which is arguably the best perch fishing in the world. And uh, how long we've we been fishing? Fifth, 20 minutes? Yeah, something like that. 15, 20 minutes? We're and still trying to locate the fish and uh, checking what lures they want, so. It's immaculate. Right. Gonna use the new Westin weight sling. 
for perch, a small one. Perfect. Yeah, zero. It's not that big. I think it's one point. This you need to chunky. It's not super fat, but it's no. chunky. One point four, maybe. Yeah. See. One forty-four. One forty-four. Close. <laughs> <laughs> Good, huh? What a beautiful fish. That was a weird fish. Uh, it didn't fight like a perch at all. I Just heavy and slow and going sideways. I was sure it was a small I pike. I thought it was a pike. But, but I'm um, happy to see it was a perch. <laughs> that is probably one of the most perfect, immaculate perch I've seen in my whole life. Oh, I want to get one now. <laughs> come on, come on, Tom. Next one is yours. Yeah. Fuck, coming through that clear water as yeah, well. That's fantastic. When they're coming on their side. Such a beautiful fish. Man, this is going to be a mega day. I can feel it. It's a safe bet going with a bull tease. Yeah. That's why I, I that's why, why I started with it. Just to check if there's any fish here. It might not be the best lure, but you know you're going to get the uh, fish yeah. on it. So it's a good lure to start with. A good bite? Gentle, very gentle bite. Just, yeah. yeah. And you saw the lure fell out in the net, so. Yeah. It was not very properly hooked. So Jorgen, you are basically Europe's perch master. <laughs> where do you, what's the number one thing where you see most people going wrong? What's the biggest mistake people make? I think uh, especially this time of the year is fishing too fast. Yeah. They're fishing the same way like they do in the summer or in early autumn. They're moving the rod a lot and they're fishing uh, way too fast. So just slow everything down. In the winter you need to slow it down. Yeah. Lighter jig heads, longer power pauses. Yeah. And with something like the Ned Worm, are you like dead sticking? So literally just leaving it still no, for... No, I haven't had any success with this really, really long pause. I, I, I like to move it one, two, five seconds. Yeah. I normally pause. Okay. I haven't had any success with uh, really, really long pauses like that, to be honest. But just keeping it slow. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for that first one. I'm on the archipelago perch. Well, f is it the perch? I think it is a perch. It looks like that, huh? Yeah. That's got a nod like a perch. Yeah. It looks like one. What lure did you use? Hypo tease. Oh, come on, be one. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's on the Ned rod. It is. It's a beautiful rod, this, actually. It's so fun to play for. Oh, it is a big perch. Come on, straight in the net. Oh, they're so strong. Yeah, it's a big one. Good one. Beautiful one. Come on, baby. Gently, Fat one. gently. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, beautiful colors. That's a fresh fish coming from the sea. You can see these bright colors. It's a beautiful fish. Right now. And the lure fell out in the net. Same again. I feel absolutely amazing right Look now. Look at the colors of that oh fish. Oh my gosh. You don't know how made up I am right now. So the lures come out in the net. Hyper tease. How was the bite? Tiny, yeah, tiny little seems bite. Seems like they are not. Uh, oh my gosh! Look so at, beautiful. Look at this as well. I love yeah. it when they get little orange bits on here. Fantastic fish. Oh my so god! So beautiful. They are literally perfect, aren't they? 
Oh my god! We've been fishing for quite a few hours now. You had yeah. a, you had one early, and then um, see how big he is. Sheesh, the yellow colours. That is an absolute. That's so beautiful, and it's high in the body. It's the perfect perch. They don't get more beautiful than that. That's for sure. It's almost the same size like mine. Yeah. 138. 138. Fantastic. It doesn't fish really top. matter, does now, it? it? When you when you catch a fish like that, the size is <laughs> irrelevant. Irre irrelevant. Oh my god, that I'm telling you now. I mean, we get we get some big perch in the UK, but I'm telling you, that is worth travelling halfway around the world for. That is fantastic. That's a very young and healthy fish. Yeah. Oh my god. Right, I'm almost done. Certainly not the biggest perch I've ever caught, but I think you struggle to find a more beautiful one. Oh, that is cold water as well. That is really cold. That was an experience. Thank you, my <laughs> friend. Thank you. I'm happy for you, Tom. That was very cool. I'm happy for you. Very cool. Just as that wind got up as well, you know, a little bit deeper here. Um, tiny, tiny little bite though. I almost, yeah, like if I was fishing in the UK now and it was three degrees, I would be fishing probably four, five, six, seven meters deep. I, and I can't believe we're in two meters catching fish like that. Absolutely perfect. And this is one of the deeper spots. <laughs> I know. It's amazing. <laughs> Such a tiny, tiny gentle bite. Seems like they are not on the feed at the moment at least, so. Yeah. My first Swedish perch. I don't think I'm going to catch a nicer one than that. <laughs> <laughs> it can be difficult to catch a more beautiful one. You never know. You never know. But that was a top fish. They don't get more beautiful than that. Um, right, so first time I've been here, you know this place quite well. Yeah. It is pretty massive. A lot of water. Well, exactly. If I was coming here without someone that knew, how would I look for the fish? Is it just a bit of technology? Is it speaking to local people? Is it? It's always good to have a few tips from the locals, of course, but uh, you have to grind. It's, I mean, uh, all, wherever you look, it looks perfect. Yeah, exactly. It's, I mean, it's thousands of places that look spot on. Yeah. So it's not easy. You have to, it's a lot of work. So you've tried and failed in a yeah, lot yeah, of places. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the, the places that you keep coming back to, they yeah. just like those areas? Yeah, for some reason they prefer one bay to the other. And there's not particular, it's not like a certain type of weed or a depth or... Could be the same, uh, you have weeds everywhere, but I like it when it's a little bit spread out so they, they can swim between them. Yeah. That's the perfect uh, scenario when you have a little bit spread out weed. A little bit like you see here, it's not completely covered in weed, you see it's yeah. some open areas also. And then just got to put the time in. Yeah, and uh, grind. Yeah. A lot of time. I mean, that first one you had was probably 45, 46 centimeters. Yeah, yeah. That's obviously a good fish. And they're, they're in what? They're in shoals of like sort of five to 10? Normally I would say, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Five to seven fish. Sometimes you can find big uh, gatherings of fish that you have like 20, 30 fish. Oh, really? But I would say the last years it uh, has been more like smaller groups. Yeah. See, the smaller the group, the trickier they are to, to get feeding as yeah, well. Yeah, once you, you need to get one to exactly. take the lure, then the other ones uh, get activated also. Yeah. So keep grinding until you get one to bite, and then it's often, yeah, switches the rest of them on. So same here at this spot. Just shallow bay, same yeah, tactics. Yeah, a lot of weed, one and a half meter. Yeah. It's crazy how shallow it is for less than three degrees water. I cannot believe 
in this clear It's even colder shallow. here, two and a half degree in oh, here. Oh, really? Gets colder further in. What the hell are they doing here? <laughs> I, if, if anyone asked me where to find perch, the colder it gets, I would say the golden rule is the deeper you go. And it's the opposite here. Normally in the lakes, they go deeper and deeper and deeper yeah. in the autumn when it's getting cold before the winter. But in the, in the archipelago, it's the opposite. They go further and further into shallow water. But I, th I think they're seeking as fresh water as possible. Right, right. Oh, that's interesting. Let's uh, make a few casts here and see what happens. Yeah. You think perch? Yeah, it looks like perch. I think that is a perch, yeah. Oh, I haven't got my drag set, but I think I've set the hook all right. Yeah, it feels like a perch. Yeah. Oh, they're so powerful. They are strong. The right one. Yeah. Oh my god, they're so strong. A little bit smaller, but still yeah. a beauty. We're gonna make it. My friend. We're gonna make a day of this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the, one. the hypo tease is working. It's a killer lure. Ah, oh, a little bit smaller, but again, look at that. Fantastic fish again. Just in the top lip, look at that, perfect. Gentle bite again? Yeah, another really tiny bite. That's why I like the hyper tease in these situations, just a little bit more subtle than... Yeah. Oh, another peach. We're gonna make a day of this, Jorgen. <laughs> another. <laughs> this one back. Beautiful fish. Oh. a touch yeah you had a bite Tom yeah just had a touch yeah there we go perch I think so well done Oof, good fish nah I think it's normal normal size Beautiful one again. Yeah. The colors are fantastic. <sighs> nice dark stripes on that one. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're making a day of this. Well, after Beautiful a one. Super tough start. Not a monster, but no. they're all fantastic. And the lure fell out in the net again. Again. You, they are not. It's taking funny, isn't it, it when you get patterns like that? Every fish. Hypertease again? Yeah. Yeah. I feel they are all fresh fish. You see the colors on them, they're all yeah. fresh fish that has come in here. Another beauty. Beautiful colors. Yeah, we're trying to find out what they like, the perch. It's been quite slow. We've had a few fish on soft lures but the bites has been really, really gentle. And every fish we had, the lure fell out in the net. Come out in the net, yeah. So I am I I'm keep I keep on fishing with the soft lure. The hypotease is normally a good lure when they are tricky now when it's cold in the water. And Tom is trying uh, different crankbaits and jerk bites. Yeah, I'm just gonna try something a little bit different. So we've got the new jerk bite, 11 centimeters. Um, beautifully suspending lure and try to activate the fish uh, yeah. uh, react to to something when they're not feeding sometimes you can get one to we call it breaking rank so if there's a little gang of them down there you only need one to kind of switch on sometimes to an aggressive lure and it can wake the rest of them up so um, but yeah it's definitely been tricky morning 
but we have some nice fish. Yeah, I think we need some wind. It's it's always yeah. difficult when you have this flat calm. I think some wind would do wonders. But we'll see what happens. It should come some wind uh, later in the day here. But that's, it's always an interesting point about when that hook comes out. Uh, it's so gently hooked. Yeah, the bites have been really very soft, tiny yeah, bites, yeah. haven't they? So, really gentle bites. Yeah. So that tells you they are not really in the mood. We need keep some. Going. Keep trying. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure if we get some wind uh, later in the day, things will start to happen. Yeah. I think the water's so clear as well that yep. it, it, a bit of wind just cuts that light down. It's not loads of light today. In fact, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's Light good. Wise, it looks per really perfect good. Perfect conditions except for the wind. So with a little bit of wind, it can change everything. But yeah, we've, um, there's one. Fish. That feels like a pike to me. Oh no, I think it could be a perch actually. Yeah, no, it's a perch. Oh, good one. Good one. Ah, you're still on nice. the jerk bait, yeah. <laughs> Oh, what a day. We're having a mixed day today. It's been a little bit slow for a while and um, we've just come back to another spot. Not a super huge one, but very welcome. Wanted to try the jerk bait. And he absolutely clobbered it. Look at that, another absolute beauty. And God, I think we've caught on three or four different baits now, haven't we? Yeah. It's been, uh, yeah, that was on the jerk bite. And just wanted to mix it up a bit. Look at this bluish color yeah, that fantastic. you have on them. Don't know if the camera can pick that up. It's like almost like a turquoisey shimmer to it. But I am absolutely falling in love with these fish. Yeah. It's hard not to. Yeah. Oh, they're fantastic. Another nice chunk. Changing the day up. Wanted to fish a uh, new bait called the jerk bite. Um, doesn't run very deep, but we've got pretty shallow water here. And basically just small twitches, jumps about. Um, always got a wire trace on it though, because these are, there's quite a few pike around here, yeah. isn't there? And when, he, when you've got trebles on, I've, I've always got a wire trace. So. Um, doesn't seem to put the perch off either, but yeah, oh, that was good fun. 11 centimeter suspending. Yeah, beautifully suspending. That's the, I think the best bit about these in cold water is that you can twitch, twitch, and it's all about the pause. Um, kind of learned that earlier on the hyper tees, didn't we? That only getting bites on the pause. So just twitch, twitch, and then it just sits it. there. Yeah, and then clunk. So um, super cool new bait. And it can definitely, I fish these quite a lot back at home, and it can definitely, like if you've fished an area and had a couple of fish, it's a completely different style of presentation to a soft bait, and it can sometimes just get that last, last fish out of an area. Strange this fishing when you're fishing soft lures and they're really picky and sometimes and then you put on a crankbait or a jerk bait and <laughs> it triggers them in a way that you can't do with the soft lures. Yeah, yeah. I think especially um, th with these jerk baits as well, the way that they come off the center line, when we're fishing plastics a lot of the time, it's always in a straight yeah. line on the retrieve and it's so different then for them to see something. Park it there. Yeah. They just can't resist it. it uh, yeah, it's I think crazy. they must be looking at it thinking, ah. Uh, I really don't want to. I really, oh, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't resist it. They huh? can't resist it. It's ridiculous. When you're fishing these jerk baits as well, um, this new jerk bite that we've got, 
can actually fish it on a straight wind. Um, it's not exactly what they're designed for, but you can catch the occasional fish like that. But generally, the technique is you've got to get the twitch just right. So you can do tiny little twitches and it will just hop around. But um, always try and give it a little bit of slack. So it's almost like bouncing the rod off the bait and giving it a little bit of slack at the end. So don't come down and hit it and keep your rod there. You've got to come down, hit it and let it bounce back. And the slack that it gives, gives it the maximum diving left and right. And that is what, I mean, these baits could be absolutely deadly on their day. But you've got to get the action right, get that twitching action. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's three, two. Experiment with your pauses as well, because on really slow days, it can be twitch, twitch, and then you leave it, and then suddenly it just goes whack after a few seconds. So, yeah, oh, go on. Looks right. like a pike, I think, oh. or maybe not. Oh, come on, Jorgen. Let's see. That's got a nod like a perch. Yeah. Could be a perch. It's not a big one, but yeah. it is a perch. Well done, my On friend. a jerk bite. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> it's not a big one, but it's a perch. That is awesome. It's pretty cool, huh? I knew if we persevered on these hard baits, it would happen. I think it could get interesting now. We've waited what, a long time. What we did, we have a small pile of rocks here. And you need to know exactly where it is to fish it properly. So we went here and we put a marker boy on the top. And then we left it and went fishing other spots for one and a half hour. And now we come here and started to fish the, the rock pile. And I had a small bite first, yeah. a few casts ago, and now I had a perch. So that's a way to fish a really, really small spot when you know it, but if you need to fish it very accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting, you normally always fish uh, soft baits and, and stuff like that in the winter, you fish it slow and, and then some days it just takes something else to, to get them going. It's not a monster perch in any way, but it's a bloody beautiful fish. Yeah. And it's so welcome when you've had a couple of hours without any bites or anything. So I'm very pleased with this fish. I'm going to put him back and going to show you the, the jerk bite. Thank you, my friend. So it's cooler uh, to catch them on a jerk bait in the middle of the winter. Two and a half, three, three degrees in the water. Fish it quite slow, that's important of course. No crazy moves, small twitches and long pauses. And that gets them going sometimes. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a better one. Could Jerk bite again? Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Change back to it. Straight. What was that? Was first or second cast, wasn't it? Second cast. I, I've been struggling with a, I'm trying a soft lures again for a while without having anything. Change back to a jerk bite and I get another one. Jerk bait. That seems to be the key. Yeah. I, I have been stubborn fishing a lot with the soft plastics for several hours now and and. Uh, this is the answer for me. I tried it here, had nothing, and changed back to the jerk bite. Awesome. Second cast, boom. I think this is the key. Yep. They are difficult today, but this seems to turn them on. For sure. Slowly, slowly fished, small yeah. twitches and long pauses. Another stunning fish. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely perfect. And the good thing is, when they decide they want that bait... And they take it hard. Yeah. They take it hard. Beautiful. Seems to be the key, huh? I mean, three 
yeah. quite quick and a few bites and nothing on the soft baits. Nothing, not a bite. Crazy. Such a fun way to fish as well. Like twitch, twitch, and then yeah. doosh. I think we have found the key, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's become deadly. Few fish on the plastics this morning. And they've it's just- so oh. gentle, the takes on the, on the soft plastics, huh? Yeah. And the lure came out in the net on, on all of them. That's always an interesting sign as well, that they're not really kind of taking it properly. But these jerkbait fish are, <laughs> it's great fun. And this method can always throw a big one up as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Have you ever fished with a jerkbait in this cold water before? Um, occasionally, yes, but I just find, a bit like we said earlier, you let the fish tell you, and you know, most of the time, I fish soft plastics or ned worms when the water's yeah, this Yeah, you're cold. afraid to try uh, hard baits. Yeah. So. But they always, they surprise you sometimes, don't they? They surprise you all the time, I would say. <laughs> That's the fun part with perch fishing. It's so unpredictable what they want. And if they're gonna come up on a hard bait, like a, a twitch bait or a crank bait, they do tend to hit boom. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're aggressive. One of my favorites. Ah, oh, this is turning into a good day now. I feel like we've got them figured out. Hope so. Yeah. Oh, better one. Oh, nice. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. <laughs> yes, my friend. Now I'm definitely convinced that the jerk bite, jerk bait is the right way to go today. So don't be afraid to try it out. Even if it's cold in the water, you just have to fish it slow. Small twitches, long pauses and fish like this can go bananas. Only a small one, but on the jerk bite. Another tank on the jerk bite. Fish again? Yeah. It's a perch again. That's it? another perch, yeah. What a beautiful fish. Jorgen, I thought this place was beautiful when it was first thing this morning and it was cloudy as hell. And now there's a load of golden evening light on it. Mm, it's even better. <laughs> it's even better. Come, Come on, on, Jorgen. Let's finish this day off in style. Three big ones. Oh. Perch? Could be. <laughs> Really strange bite. Yeah, it is a perch. Good one, good one. For some reason, they don't like the... Soft baits today. <laughs> well done. Just as the sun's going down. Another beautiful fish. And the jerk bite. Look at that, right in there. Clobbered it. What a fantastic day. Every single one of them has been immaculate. a peach. Yeah. Absolutely immaculate. Just come and do a close up on these fins. Look at that. It was like five casts again. So crazy. All this morning, yeah. soft baits. Haven't had a bite on a soft bait this afternoon. Again. Should be, yeah. Same spot. Yeah, I thought I had one. Oh, this could be a better one as well. Hopefully. Good one. 
definitely seems to be the jerk bite. Yeah, I thought I had a bite the previous cast as well. It's definitely just off the end yeah, of these yeah, reeds. Yeah. Biggest of today, maybe. Yeah, I think so. I think so. That's a beast. That's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> As the Swedish sun sets. It's crazy. They just stopped biting on soft baits. Couldn't believe that. I could been, not believe that. I've been uh, grinding with them just to see, but yeah. I just don't haven't had a bite for ages. That's Man. a big one, Tom. This jerk bite is some, oh my God. Whoa. That's a beast. That's a super cool fish. That's a beast. This bait is absolutely awesome. We're fishing one meter deep. Yeah. Over the top of these weeds. Oh, holy cow, that's a beaut, oh my God. That's a pig. That's a, oh, it's a big one. Right. It's a big one, Tom. Let's check on the measure. Biggest one of the day by far. Yeah, 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 it's, uh, it looks long. It's a 50. It's a 51. It's a 51. 51. <laughs> That's a, a beast. That's a beast oh and it's quite God. fat. That's, uh, I think that's a two kilo fish. I hope so. That's oh a beast. Oh my god. <laughs> a 51. Oh, I'm not reckoning it, I don't reckon, I reckon it's a bit short of two kilos. It's not as heavy as I thought. No. 188. <sighs> that's still. But it's a beast. That's a special that's fish. That's a beast. <laughs> oh my god. 1.88 kilo. From starting the day. 51 centimeter. Wow. Oh my God. Well, that's, um, I'll have to check. That is, look how long it is. It's a beast, huh? <laughs> that's a bloody beast. I can't, we've just caught that in two foot of water. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that. What a fish, what a fish, Tom. <laughs> Much older, completely different yeah, yeah. compared different to the colors fish. colors and everything. Yeah. Much, much older. Look, I can't believe how, look at the size of its mouth. It's yeah, like a it's large a mouth bucket, bass. Bucket. Oh my God. <laughs> Jerk bite. Strikes again. Unbelievable. There are many jerk baits on the market, but uh, I can guarantee you this is something special. That is the very special. The fish just love it. And he absolutely clocked it as well. Oh my God. I, I genuinely don't know what to say. My first day's perch fishing in Sweden, in the archipelago. And look at the size of that. 51 centimeters and 1.88 kilos. Just. A tank. An absolute creature. But on the jerk bite as well. I almost don't want to let her go. <laughs> oh, you want to just keep watching it. Oh, you're worth getting cold hands for. Beautiful. Jorgen, that was a fantastic day. Right. You ready to go, girl? That was a big old perch. You can see it was an older fish. A much older fish. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats, my friend. Mate, what a ch what a day! Crazy day. Yeah. Really, really difficult to start with, and we managed to catch a few on soft bait, but it was just not uh, going. It was a grind for every fisher, yeah? and then just suddenly switched over to the hard baits and just Meg, what a bait! There is a lot of jerk baits on the market, but I, I promise this is something special. Yeah. Uh, the mate, action is I second. I promise it's something special. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Right. We Sun's, got it. 
sun's going down. You got your dream pot from the archipelago. <laughs> it is. That is the dream fish. Yeah. I cannot believe it. I mean, the weight, it doesn't really matter, huh? You have a 51, a beautiful yeah. fish. It was as long as my yeah. arm. I cannot believe that. So made up. Right, <laughs> time to go home. You we can... need to get back to the ramp. You cannot have a better ending than this, huh? No, that was absolutely perfect. Sweden. You see the moon is out. <laughs> <laughs> Sweden, I love you. Jürgen, I love you.